So one of the frequent claims made by many flat earthers is that no matter how high you go, the horizon always rises to eye level. Now this has been demonstrated to be false many times by me and by other people. And in this video, I'm going to show you another video produced by Critical Think with a very simple experiment that confirms once again, the horizon does not rise to eye level. And it is this topic that motivated me to make my first flat earth debunking video. Back in August, 2016, I was in Rio, Brazil for the Olympic Games and I watched a YouTube video by Eric de Bay claiming that the horizon always rises to eye level. After having spent many years operating corporate jets at high altitudes, I knew this claim was complete nonsense. So the next time I went flying, I obtained this footage looking through the head-up display in the aircraft and proving that the horizon is not at eye level. I'll just play it briefly. What you can see there is I am indicating the difference between true level as indicated by the velocity vector in the head-up display and the position of the horizon. And this is a night scene from the same flight where you can clearly see the position of the horizon is below the velocity vector. In cruise, when the aircraft is maintaining a constant altitude, this velocity vector is perpendicular to the direction of down. It is indicating the true level position. As you can see, the horizon is clearly below that. So since that first video, I have repeated this observation a number of times in the aircraft. On this occasion, it was after sunset where we had a very clearly defined horizon. And you can see once again, that the position of the horizon is several degrees below true level, exactly what you would expect on a globe. And again. So in addition to these observations through the head-up display, I also used a phone-based theodolite app, which again confirms that the horizon and the sun as it was setting when seen from high altitude was more than three degrees below true level. Again, exactly what we would expect to see on a globe. Additionally, I have performed an experiment with a drone operating from a low altitude and climbing to a higher altitude and observing that the horizon actually drops after the sun had set from the lower altitude. Climbing the drone caused the sun to reappear because the horizon dropped as we gained altitude. So let's now take a look at Critical Think's experiment. As you will see, you don't need a corporate jet or a drone to confirm that the horizon does not rise to eye level. The basic concept here is to have a tube and point it towards the horizon from an elevated location. On top of that tube, we have a bubble level. If the horizon is at eye level, then the bubble level should show a level attitude. If the horizon has dropped, the bubble level will indicate that drop. And furthermore, if we look through one end of the tube and we see the horizon looking back through the opposite direction on a globe, we should be looking into the air. If it was a flat earth, we would see the horizon equally looking through both sides of that tube. So I'll post a link to Critical Think's channel in the description below. Please check it out. He has made some excellent videos using real world observations that confirm we live on a globe and show the absurdity of Flat Earth and some of the claims they make. Hello, Flatties and Globe Defenders. It's Critical Thing from Down Under here, and I'm at Byron Bay, Cape Byron. And we'll move around so you can see the lighthouse there in the background. And plenty of people here today, as you can see. I've got my uh, tube and spirit level set up just for you, Antonio. Uh, you've got this experiment you said we should do. Well, I've done it. So here's my spirit level. 
I've also got a tube. Just a bit of um, double trouble there for you, Antonio. We'll uh, have a look at the results of this and, and we'll see how it turned out. Hee <laughs> Now let's listen while Antonio tells us how to discern globe from flat. Then we have a light blue line, which would be the drop to the horizon. Okay, this is a theoretical line, this line. If this was actually true, make sure I'm showing everything. If this was actually true, there would be a way of proving it. If instead this was more like true, there'd be a way of proving that. Okay, obviously, this being a horizon line would present a horizon along that line. So, how can we test which of these it might be? Well, here I have a red tube, a thin tube. Do you mean like this? But it's not red. Does that matter? Angle a thin tube down to the horizon. Okay, fix it angled down to the horizon. Do you mean like this? Look through this end. You should, if your theory is true, see the horizon. Look at that. Not looking good for you, is it, Antonio? And then leaving this red tube fixed, if you come to this side and look the opposite way, well, can you see how that's veering away from the land, whereas this veers towards the land? Well, when you're looking from this direction, you should be looking up into the sky. Okay? Do you mean like this? Oh dear! Thanks, Antonio. You've just given me a great idea to prove the globe. I know what you're thinking. You think I faked those pictures, don't you? Well, let's look at the whole clip. Well, here's the setup. I have two tripods with a cardboard tube strapped to them. And on top of that, I've got a spirit level strapped to the tube. And that's to tell if I've got a tilt downwards or upwards. And also to give me a line of sight along the spirit level as a second measure. As you can see, the spirit level is not level. It's lower on the left. We'll go around and take a look behind the spirit level and we'll sight it up to the horizon. There, that match pointed right at the horizon. And then when we look through the uh, tube, look at that, the horizon, you can see it. And we go around to the other side and we sight along the horizon. There. Oh! Oh dear, that's pointing above the horizon, Antonio. And when you look through the tube, it's pointing up into the sky. The Earth's a globe. You've helped me prove it, Antonio. You're one of us now. You're a globling. How does that feel? Ah, let's just check this out again. Look, it's still leaning down that way. It's still a bit of a tilt. A point still the other side still tilting looking at the horizon wow how about that it's very simple so globe earthers rather than earn your money through critique how about you go and you show something show it because we will be showing it we'll be showing it now if you haven't been able to show the opposite then mm, is starting to look even more ludicrous for you.